The proposal for a new smart city project in Rublovo Arkhangel Square, a tiny new town west of Moscow, has been unveiled by Zaha Hadid Architects. In an invited competition, the Rublovo Arkhangel Square smart city concept was chosen among the best world architects, notably Nick and Sikai from Japan, along with UNK Projects, Arkea Sociati from Italy, and ABD Architects Russia. The 4 million square meter project created in partnership with the local architects TPO Pride Builders will contain new houses for 66,500 inhabitants, as well as new schools, medical clinics, transportation infrastructure, commercial areas, and new civic and cultural organizations. Principal Patrick Schumacher and Christos Passas of ZHA will lead the project. Let me take you inside this smart city. Moscow's population has increased in recent decades, rising by more than 30% to 12.4 million in the last 20 years, and space is becoming scarce. This is the reason why officials are building the new Rublovo Arkhangel Square neighborhood to handle future expansion and welcome new inhabitants without further crowding the city center. There will be 1.41 million square meters of business class apartment buildings, 978,000 square meters of comfort class housing units, and 248,000 square meters of low-rise residential structures in the residential complexes. The city will also have a new office complex with seven buildings ranging in height from 8 to 17 stories. Air bridges will link the buildings, which will be placed on different floor levels ranging from 3 to 10. The office complex will offer 807,000 square meters of Class A office space to suit the rising burdens of the financial, legal, administrative, and auditing industries. To reduce private car ownership in Rublovo Arkhangel Square, adequate public transportation services like commuter trains as well as an extensive network of cycling lanes will be built. In 2020, work on a new metro line between Rublovo Arkhangel Square and the Shelipika Interchange Station of Moscow's metro scheme started. The creation of a green belt and then an artificial lake will allow rainfall to be collected and percolated, therefore assisting in the regulation of the city's climate. Meanwhile, the plan aims to combine natural and man-made processes into a technologically advanced metropolitan environment. The initiative will enhance the production and consumption of truly sustainable energy sources, while also integrating electric mobility, novel technologies, services, and infrastructural facilities to increase connectivity and efficiency, thanks to the EDF Group's platform for 3D simulations of energy and urban scenarios. That's all for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more fascinating videos we've made, click on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!